hello you guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video i will be showing you how to crochet this beaded beanie or hat or whatever you want to call it anyways i'll be showing you how to crochet this and for this um hat i used a five millimeter hook and i used a dk weight yarn so um anyone you like uh, anyone you have would be fine i'm also using a stitch marker and a uh darning needle to weave in my hands you also need a scissors to cut of course so if you're up for this let's get started um i forgot to mention that i also use beads <laughs> sorry quite obvious yeah yeah i also use beads and last thing you need is a measuring tape um the two measurements that you want to get is the length of your heart and the circumference of your head okay so um the first thing you want to do is to feed in your beads into your yarn before starting so what i'm doing here is i'm just putting the beads through my yarn and i also need to mention that you have to make sure that you have a, you pick beads that have a wide o because the beads i used are now nah, they were so small the, the yeah the beads were so small so i had trouble feeding it into my yarn so make sure you, the beads that you're using have a wide hole so what you want to do is to feed in all the beads that you're going to be using in fact feed more than you need because it's better to have more than you need than to have to cut your yarn and feed in more so once you have all your beads in the next thing is to just start your work so we're going to start by making a slip knot And then insert your hook into that slip knot and adjust it. And now I'm going to chain the length of my hat. But I also, um, this hat is going to have a fold over brim. So I'll be adding two inches to the length of my hat. So my own chains um, were 50 chains. Um, and that measured... 13 inches so the length of my hat is 11 inches and i had it two inches extra for my fold over brim and you'll see in a second where i show you um where i measure it so just go ahead measure your head make your chains and then okay so i'm done making my chains here i have exactly 13 inches 50 chains so the next thing i'm going to do now is to start working along my chain but first i'm going to chain one that's my turning chain then i'm going to start making half double crochets into all my stitches so yarn over insert your hook into the stitch pull up a loop yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook and that's your half double crochet so just keep making half double crochets down the chain and um before you get to the last chain okay before your last um seven chains i'll be back to show you guys what to do in the last seven chains i'm back now and um, i have seven chains left and now into these seven chains i'm going to make one slip stitch so just go into the chain and slip stitch and uh, do that for the whole chain for the remaining seven chains rather four five six and um, seven slip stitches so what this does is that it just helps to cinch in your work at the top so it's easy for you to sew at the end and it gives your heart a perfect shape so that's your first row done so for the second row what you want to do is to chain one and then turn your work and now we are going to walk into the back loop stitches and this might be difficult for you to see for your slip stitches but just try to find it the the back loop is the stitch that is farthest from you so just insert your hook into the back loops and walk 
slip stitches into the first seven stitches yeah and then still working into the back loops we are going to now start putting half double crochets from your eighth stitch so in a minute i'm going to be showing you how to how i fit in the beads into my work so just keep working half double crochets so i just slide the bead up the yarn and then i start my half double crochet so i'm going to yarn over yarn over insert my hook and pull up a loop then i slide the bead up to the yarn and then my last yarn over and pull through the bead is already there there so that's the front of your work the part that has the beads is the front of your work so you just want to keep that in mind So I'm not putting the beads in, in any particular order, I just distributed them randomly. I'm putting another bead here. And then you're going to continue to half double crochet and make slip stitch at the top of your work until you have the length um which is the circumference of your head so until this piece is is um, wide enough to wrap around your head you're just going to continue making half double crochets while fitting in beads into your work so i will be back to show you what i have um yeah when i've done all my stitches okay i'm back now and i have uh, made a few rows um so now i'm going to i just want you guys to notice that i've not put beads everywhere and that's because of the fold over brim that we have so the bead is actually on the other side of the walk the part that will be folded on top yeah, so I just wanted you guys to take note of that when you are putting in the beads into your work. So now that we have the length that we're going for, all you have to do is just to fold your piece in half. And now we're going to slip stitch the sides together. Okay, I'm just going to go into the first stitch, pick that up and then make a slip stitch. And here I'm going to chain one and go into that first two stitches again. Yeah, and make a slip stitch. So from here, you're just going to go into your stitches. But here I'm going into the back loops. I'm going into the back loop of the uh, first side. And then I'm just picking up the stitch on the other side, the corresponding stitch on the other side. And then I'll make a slip stitch to join so um yeah i'm going to slip stitch like this until the end and uh, i'll be back to show you guys what to do next all right i'm done slip stitching and um now what i'm going to do is i want to sew the top together i'm just going to leave a fairly long tail here and snip off the excess and grab your darning needle now and just Feed your yarn through. Now we are going to sew the top of this hat together. So what I simply did was that I just picked up every other stitch. So I'm just going to go into, in fact, this, this is just random. I just picked up stitches randomly. And then after I uh, made a few passes, I pulled the yarn to cinch it up. Just like that. So pick stitches randomly, but make sure you're going into stitches that are firm. So, so that your work uh, cinches up beautifully and then pull it to cinch it up. So that's what you want to do till the end.
and then once you once you've done that you want to make a knot and tie it tightly yeah so once you do that you just want to tie tie your work securely but don't pull too tight so that you don't <laughs> mistakenly cut your yarn so but make sure you're getting it uh, tied very tightly just like that but this is what the front looks like nice and neat so um this is your hat <laughs> in a nutshell very easy to make and it looks absolutely gorgeous with the beads but um i added a pom-pom so if you wish you can add a pom-pom to your work but i didn't film that you probably already know how to make a pom-pom so just make your pom-pom and then put it at the top of your work and yeah I made my pom pom in uh, brown, which is the color of the majority of the beads that I have on the hat. So I just felt that brown uh, pom pom would be nice. So I put the pom pom in there and I tied it securely inside the hat and then just weaving all the ends, the long tail, snip of the excess, and you're basically done with this hat. Very, very easy to make. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and um, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.